Well, hello there. Very good views. My name is Guy. We're at the Santa Cruz Albino Rhino HQ basement. You're in White's Tavern. <laughs> so uh, tonight looks like we're going to be looking at NC Certified Original Monk E Business Beer, going at 6.3 percent alcohol by volume, made in at the Niagara College. Learning Enterprises Corporation, Ontario, Canada. Let our class fill your glass. So these certified originals are second year, so graduating year students, final projects. Okay. So this is a project of one of the students. There you are, good sir. Should say the name of the student. That's oh, what I say it every, every time. single time. This back panel shouldn't be that back panel. It should actually be a panel that gives us a description. With of the, the picture student. of the student and whatever else. Or not even a picture. I think a picture, the name, yeah. why they made the beer, their favorite style. Like they're doing that on their website now, on their Facebook page. They're doing little, little things with the students. Yeah. But they should do that on these bottles. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We say it every time. Okay, so 6-3. Mouthful luck for the snatch. That's right. Mouthful Heard that for before. The snatch. <laughs> um, I don't know. Looks like clear caramel. Yeah. Caramel color. I would agree. Oh, maple syrup almost. Yeah. Like Aunt Jemima maple syrup. Like fake maple syrup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that smells better than the dark Belgian we just had. Oh, yeah. Again, a nice smoky scent coming off of it, especially out of the bottle. Out of the glass, you're not getting the smokiness as much. Again, a licorice smell, but more like a licorice root, not quite as sweet. Um, it's like somebody set lemon candy on fire. A little bit, yeah. Oh, that was very ladylike. <laughs> smells like chicken burger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost ready for more burger now. I have shit three times. Just <laughs> 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 to look at shits. Okay. So monkey business was supposed to be a Belgian style. Um. I don't know. Not really. No. Way too watery for a bell or so. Yeah. It's very smoky too. Like I got I did get a lot of smoke, like fake smoke, the liquid smoke you can use to make your own smoked meat and everything else. I forget why it's called, you know that when you go to Sugar Shack, when you put the maple stuff on the, on the snow, on the stick there, it almost tastes like that, almost. I could see that. But a watered, watered down version. I'm getting, I'm getting the sweet, it actually tastes like they did use Belgian candy sugar. I am getting that sweetness that you would normally get from a Belgian. I'm not getting anything from a Belgian yeast. I'm not getting, it, it doesn't have a very heavy mouthfeel, it's very, very light. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I think of this. Mostly getting a lemon. See, I get lemon on the background, like on the, like right, right now, I haven't drank a sip in a few seconds. I'm getting a little bit of lemon on the, on the background. I'm also getting a little bit of an alcohol warming now that I'm talking more. I'm like sitting right here in the chest. Not actually in the throat. Maybe I'm having a stroke. I don't know. Um, still, really smoky, though. But I know what you're talking about. There is a sourness that comes out right at the tip of your tongue. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a candy beer. But it's not a... In all honesty, I'm always I'm always 50-50 with these beers. Uh, half of these beers I love, and half of these beers I'm not particularly fond of. And this is one of the ones that I'm not particularly fond of. No. Like, Scott's All Summit IPA was amazing. 
The uh, Strong Ale was amazing. The Coco Takes a Cab, amazing. Um, the Cayenne Coco Stout, amazing. This one, I could drink it. Like, there's nothing that makes me go, oh, this is gross, I won't drink it again, but... I can drink a whole bottle of this stuff, so... Yeah, like, I, I could, but... Will I go and spend my $5.60 on this bottle again? No, I wouldn't. Again, it, w it would be, for me, a passing grade. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the student told me it was. I believe he said it was supposed to be a Belgian triple. Uh, even by the color, it's not really a Belgian triple. No. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, too fond of it. Um, I'll give it a six. Uh, yeah, I was thinking 5.5. 5.5? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a passing grade. I mean, it is a passable beer. I'd choose this over, like, Molson Canadian any day. Yeah. Well. But, um, <laughs> but... <laughs> It's not. It's not something that screams to me. It's not something that makes me want to drink it. It's. It's. It's not something that makes me want to put it in my Santa sack and give it to somebody. <sighs> Unless you've been bad. If you were a bad boy, you might get this in your stocking. Well, technically, your Santa sack is always closed, so you can put it into it. I get what you're trying to say there. What? <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> in the Rhino and Guy. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. You sick, sick man. <laughs> <laughs>